Let's talk paint. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is all about picking the perfect paint to paint your mural. So we are going to be talking about exterior murals, interior murals, spray paint, bucket paint and which brands to pick. So sit back, relax, get ready to paint your mural and don't forget to press subscribe. Hey, I am Nochola the Drawer, an artist and adventurer from the UK. Let's get creative. So let's start with painting exterior murals and bucket paint. So I use smooth masonry matte paint. I like the brand Albany because you can get colours mixed to lots of different bright colours. The Albany in the UK is available at brewers and they can mix them to be different colours. How do you know what the colours are going to be if they're mixing them for you? There's a huge selection of colours because what they use is they use RAL numbers. So I have this handy guide with different RAL numbers in it and I can pick which colour I would like from that and just call them and order it. For example, this colour that I have here is RAL 6032 which is this colour here and as you can see they match. So what I would suggest is picking your colours that you're going to need and calling over the phone to order your paint. This is best because if you're going to order loads of paint they might not have the base colours in. So they need the physical pots of paint that are there to mix to be able to do this. Whereas if you just popped into the store maybe they wouldn't have the amount that you need. If it's only a couple of colours they might already have them there but it's best to call ahead so they can make sure they order them in store and mix them and then you can pick them up already mixed ready if you know what colour you would like and how many. In terms of size of the mixed specifically for you, this is the smallest that you can get. So just bear that in mind. There are many other brands out there too that do smooth masonry paint, but this is the one that I this is the one that I regularly use, so I recommend. For things like background colour, you can always water a paint down and spray it. You can get a spray gun and colour in the background if you've got a large area that you want coloured. I don't have a gun, so I don't use that, but I have seen it used multiple times. And I have even used a watered down paint that somebody else had used in a gun um, and physically painted, but then that is quite messy because it's watery. If you found this video useful so far, give me a thumbs up and press the subscribe below. I would love this channel to grow just as your creativity is going to grow too. So let's talk spray paint. When I first started painting murals, I used brush and paint. For me, that made more sense. It made me be able to scale my artwork up onto large scale. Um, I did actually use one spray can in my first mural and for the doodle grid, although I did not have the skills to spray paint, but I wanted to have a go. But since then I have grown my spray paint skills and knowledge and there's many advantages of using spray paint, which I'll share with you too. The first mural that I completely did in spray paint was actually at Mural Paint Festival in the pouring rain because there was no way the brush paint was gonna stick to that surface, whereas spray paint, has many advantages for bad weather and I'm going to share six reasons why spray paint is better than brush paint and decide whether that's helpful for you. So number one, carrying it up a ladder is much easier than a bucket of paint. Number two, if it's raining spray paint doesn't run. When I'm talking about raining I mean like a bit of rain, not torrential rain, you can still carry on with spray paint as it attaches really quickly to the surface and it dries quickly. And that's my number three reason is spray paint dries quickly. So you can also paint another color over the top quickly. You can paint the bits next to the next color without worrying about smudging. Whereas with brush, you would have to wait till that color had dried. Four, it, becomes in, it comes in lots of beautiful colours and lots of different shades. So there's a lots of variety of choice with colour. Number five, spray paint is much speedier. You can cover a lot bigger area a lot quicker with spray paint. For example, one that I did, it was two stories. I did it in three days because I did spray paint. It would have taken me a lot longer if I had used brush. Six, spray paint can be used on any surface. For example, if you had a pebble dash surface, that would be an absolute nightmare with a brush. So with spray paint, you cover the surface much easier because it sprays into all the niggly bits rather than you physically having to put a brush in that. So there are my reasons why I think spray paint is better. I am still a big 
fan of the brush and masonry paint though up to you to decide what's going to work best for you there are a lot of different brands of spray paint so i'd suggest getting a few different brands to see what works better for you it's not just about the color different brands have different colors but it's also about the pressure of the can and how that works for you and your skill level for example i wasn't that great at spray paint i was using montana black and i didn't feel in control of the can Whereas I used 94 and this is a low pressurized can. So it's much easier to handle. The paint doesn't come out as fast um, and it's much easier for a beginner. So I definitely would recommend 94. You can also get a translucent spray paint, which is good for gradients and coloring over the top. I use flat, bold colors. So this isn't really very useful for me, but it might be for you. So let's talk interior mural. This may seem a bit easier if you've done any painting and decorating in your house, as you can get interior paints at any local hardware store, B&Q, home base, if you're UK based, and they can mix the colors for you there and they have all the charts, so you can pick the color that works for you and get that mixed. I love to use Dulux for interior color and code that you had mixed it has written on the label and keep a note of it just in case you need more each paint has different bases and quite often because my colors are so bright I usually have an extra deep base so if I want a lot of these I want to get them in advance because they might not have all of the extra deep bases in store ready for me you can also get Dulux in multiple different sizes. This is the two and a half litre and you can get it in a smaller pot, but you can also get the sample size, which is 250 millilitres. So you can get this mixed up if you just need a specific colour, but you don't need very much of it and they will mix that for you too. Thanks for sticking around for the video. I have the last two tips are, if you have orange, red or yellow in your mural and you're using a pot of paint, you are going to need to make sure you add multiple layers of those colors. They're colors that always need multiple layers, so at least three coats per color to get a nice color on the surface and coverage. And so make sure you add that into your estimate for the amount of paint that you need. And the last tip is if you're using spray paint, make sure you have loads of different caps on hand so that you have the caps of different sizes to cover different areas. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and press subscribe to get more weekly videos about mural painting, behind the scenes and inspiring your creativity. That is my ultimate guide on mastering the paint you need for your mural. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions about it or if any of the tips have helped you out on what mural you created. I can't wait to see them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next creative adventure. While you're here, don't forget to press subscribe below so you get weekly videos of creative adventures, behind the scenes and artist resources.